Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we run the Playwright JavaScript test in parallel. So I am going to discuss about the parallelism of the Playwright with JavaScript code. By default, when we run the test file, test uh, Playwright test, so test files are run in parallel. Test in a single file, right, that run in the order, in the same worker process. Okay. So, to run the test in a single file in parallel, so if we have one file and we have multiple tests, if we want to run those tests, single file tests, parallel, then we need to configure test by using test describe config configure i will show how we configure we can configure entire project to have all tests in all files to run parallel by using the test project fully parallel or test config dot fully parallel we can also configure this from the config file if we want to disable the parallelism then limit the number of workers to one so in that case we need to set the workers value one then it will run single test it will not run the parallel test in parallel what is workers all test in the playwright run in worker processes these processes are the os processes where tests are running independently independently means independently means one test execution will not impact on other test execution. All workers have identical environment and each starts in and each starts its own browser. So they have separate browser they are running on the test on that particular browser. How we limit the workers? So we can control the maximum number of parallel workers, right? how many parallel uh, tests we want to run we can uh, control th those by uh, using the command line as well as the configuration file we can set up also workers in configuration file and from command line we can also set so while running the commands like npx playwright test we can pass the workers value so these workers so like here I am passing four, so parallelly four workers will run. Parallelly four tests will execute. Now how we disable the parallelism? So if we want to disable the parallelism, if we don't want to execute the test parallel, then in that case we can pass the single worker at any time. Okay, we can pass the worker value one in from command line or we can also pass from the configuration file parallelize test in a single file how we run the parallel test in a single file so by default as we discussed test in a single file run in order but we can also run make some configuration to run the single test in parallel to run the uh, single file test in parallel so for that we need to use the test that describe dot configure mod equal to parallel within the this configuration within the this uh, describe how many tests we have all those tests will run parallel okay so note parallel tests are executed in a separate worker process and cannot share any state or global variables among them okay now let's see how we do this by using the playwright and javascript code Okay, so here I am going to uh, show how we do the parallel execution by using the Playwright and JavaScript code. So I will practically I will show. So earlier we created the test folders. Here we have multiple uh, test script. Uh, we have already discussed all these script in the previous tutorials. So now I am going to create one new folder because if I run the parallel all these tests, it will take some time. So I will pick some uh, files from here and then run those tests parallel so going to create new folder so this folder i'm giving test and new okay so from that test file i'm going to move a few files 
like uh, three files I moved here. Uh, one is HTTP authentication, uh, orange HRM login. So five uh, files I am going to move, uh, not move, just copy and paste so that it will available there also. Okay, so now five files you can see here we have. Now I'm going to run these files parallelly and you will see the execution. Okay, so here we have folder name test new. So we need to update this folder directory in our playwright config file. So go to the playwright config file and change here uh, test directory uh, new. Test new folder. So now if I run the test from command line, it will pick and run the test from these folders. Okay, so now let's see. So as we discussed by default, uh, playwright run the files parallel, means uh, test files parallel. So you will see all these files will run parallel. So for execution, we need to run the command npx playwright uh, test, then project chromium. So in this way, I will run only the test on chromium browser. So going to run. Yeah, you can see four browser open. Once one test is completed, next test will start running. So at a time, four browser will execute. So by default, playwright run the test parallel in a four browsers. Okay, so we can define also the workers value here. By default, this is undefined. So here we can add the workers. Okay, one more test is going to run. So by default, here is undefined. So we can define the worker. So if we add here worker value, then uh, it will run. Uh, that like uh, parallelly, uh, what value we are mentioning? Like suppose that we are mentioning here three, so it will run the parallelly three. If I mention here five, so it will run five browser at a time, five files parallelly at a time. So now execution completed, and you can see the result. Okay, so let me now run again. So in this time, you will see parallelly for five. Uh, files will all the five files will run parallel and you will see here the five browsers instances because we mentioned here worker five so you can see five files open here at a time so maximum five tests will run parallelly five files will run parallelly and the test which is available under the files that will run in a sequence like if i go here it has uh, three tests so all these three tests will run parallel if here we have one test, so this will run. So here we have three tests, so file will run parallel, but, but these tests will run in sequence. Similar type here, one test, in this only one test. In this file, only we have two tests, so these two tests will run sequence. In this file, again, I have two tests. Okay, so worker value we can configure from here, as well as we can pass from the command line. So here, just use the workers and uh, then workers and then set the value. Like I'm going, going to give the uh, three. So in that case, if we are passing the workers value from the command line, so it will override the value what we have set up in the config file. So in config file, we have five, but from the command lines worker value, we are giving three. So now it will override, it will consider the worker value what we are passing from command line. So it will run the three uh, files parallel. So let's see. Okay, we don't need to use here equal, just provide the value. You can see only three files, maximum three files. You can see here run parallel, multiple, maximum three browsers you will see here, okay? Uh, this will run sequence. So now the last test is running. Two browsers. So test executed successfully. Now here you can see we are setting up the worker value from command line. It will pick the from command line and override the value what we have passed in config file. Okay, in this way, we can configure and run the test uh, file parallel. Now, if you want to run the test parallel, then as we discussed in the beginning, 
we can set up the fully parallel equal to value true. So if we are setting up the full parallel true, then it will start running the test parallel, not a file, right? So let me remove all these tests. Okay, so we have only uh, two files here now. So now if I will set the worker value four, right? So we have two files. So to if max maximum we can if if files will run parallel, then maximum two files uh, will run because we have only two files. But here if test will run parallel, so you will see uh, more browser instances, right? So now here I pass the worker value equal to four. So in at a time four test will run parallel. So let's see four browser. You will see four browser will open. Yeah, maximum because here now parallel test is running. Closed, run and successfully. So, so this uh, from configuration level we can run the test parallel by making the uh, fully parallel equal to true here. Okay, let me make this false. And if we want to run the test parallel, right? Here we can configure the test test dot describe dot config configure mod parallel right. If we set up the test describe config configure mod parallel, so in that case only the particular files test will run parallel. Other test will run in sequence. Okay, like here if I provide the uh, value four so because we have only two tests here so these two tests will run parallel and this file also contain the two tests so this will run in sequence because here we have not passed the uh, con configure the parallel so let's see maximum you will see three browsers uh, will invoke so first file both is parallel second file test you will see in sequence so only three invoked at a time now this is running Second test, uh, second file, second test. Okay, so now when we are configuring uh, the any particular uh, file test run parallel, so only those tests will run parallel. If we want to set up globally, okay, all the file tests run parallel, then in that case, we need to provide here fully parallel equal to true. Okay, so if we want to run the test in sequence, just pass here the value, worker value one. So in that case, it will run the test in sequence, it will not run the test as well as the file run in sequence. It will run, it will not run in parallel mode. Similar type, if, if you want to run from command line, we can just pass here worker one and you will see it will start running in a sequence, not a parallel. Only one browser you can see here invoked and test is run. Right? Four time invoked sequentially. Yeah. So hope this will help to understand how we run the playwright test parallel by using the worker, right? How we set the worker value from command line as well as how we set up the worker value from the playwright config file and uh, how we run test parallelly how we run particular file test parallelly. So hope uh, this concept will be helpful and you understand. And if you have any query, leave a comment. And if you like the tutorial, click on the like button, subscribe the channel, and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues. And let's meet in the next tutorial.